What is good, you too? It's AJ Boogie. I'm back at it again, and I'm bringing that LeBron James to LA Laker land. Hey, the deed is done. LeBron James to the Lakers, four years, 154 million. Excellent job to Magic Johnson. There was only one person who could convince LeBron to leave Cleveland and join his team, and that man was Magic. This is a great move for the NBA. The NBA is rejoicing today. Why? Because the Lakers are relevant again. They're not a laughing stock. Think about it. When is the last time that the Lakers have been relevant in anything? The last time I gave a rip about the Lakers was probably Kobe Bryant's last game. You know, the game where he scored 60 points and shot 50 times? I wasn't even interested in the Lakers at all, period. I was just waiting to say goodbye to all Kobe fans, all irrational Kobe fans. The Lakers are relevant right now because of Lonzo Ball, because of LeVar Ball, not because of their play on the court. And history is on my side by saying the Lakers were irrelevant. This past year, Lakers, 35 wins, 47 losses, 2016, 26 and 56, 2015, 17 and 65, 2014, 21 and 61, 2013, 27 and 55. This is the most pathetic part. 2012, 45 and 37, the last time that the Lakers have been in the playoffs. You know who is on that team? Overrated Kobe Bryant, Steve Nash, Dwight Howard. So, in a six-year span, with Kobe Bryant on your roster, you won 171 games and lost 319. Pathetic. They are on par with the New York Knicks. Face it, nobody wanted to play with Kobe Bryant. No one wanted to play with an aging Kobe who was going to shoot 30 times a game. Look, if you wanted to watch your career rotten, you went to LA, you went to go play with Kobe Bryant. Current day Lakers, 2018, 2019 Lakers, LeBron James joins you. And what do you know? People want to join him. Lakers so far already have signed JaVel McGee, Lance Stevenson, Rajon Rondo. And it's only going to be a matter of time before they get Kawhi Leonard. Laker fans, you need to wake up. The Kobe era is done. Get that out of your mind. We need to erase that from the Laker legacy. Here's the thing. The Lakers haven't made the playoffs in five years. LeBron James has made eight straight finals. Laker fans, your problem is not making the playoffs. It's going to be making the finals. So the dynamic has changed. The culture has changed. There's a new king in LA, and it ain't Kobe Bryant. It's LeBron James. Lakers jersey sales have gone up 600% since the signing of LeBron James. It's just a match made in heaven, the biggest stage in the world with the best player in the world. Now, I've been on social media and I see Laker fans everywhere. We don't want LeBron. LeBron, LeBron's too old to play. Who wants to build a franchise around LeBron James and old LeBron James? Uh, geez, I don't know, maybe a team that wants to go to the championship? Slash win a championship? We get a nice young core. We don't want to mess anything up. I'll give you that. You do got a nice core with Lonzo, Kuzma, Ingram. But let me ask you this. Do you want a nice core or do you want to compete for a championship? Do you want a Brandon Ingram who was hurt a lot last year, a Lonzo Ball who was hurt a lot last year, and a decent Kyle Kuzma, an inconsistent Kyle Kuzma, or do you want LeBron James? Or do you want to sign Kawhi Leonard in the offseason? Do you want championships or do you want lottery picks? The Laker franchise has gone from irrelevant to relevant in 24 hours. And you can thank the King, LeBron James. That's all the heat I got for today. Like, comment, subscribe to the Boogie Squad. AJ Boogie, and I'm out. Boom!